Over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about mental health. And in particular, men are being affected more than women. So in this episode today of Quantum uh, Action, we're going to be talking about, you know, the mental side of the game, which is one of the parts of action, you know, the mental side, the optimism um, and, you know, what causes mental health and what we can put in place to uh, avoid falling into depression and, and that kind of thing. So uh, welcome to Quantum Action. This is what this channel is all about, to take you to infinity and beyond. My name is Fabrizio Foli and let's get into the meat of today's episode. Now, uh, mental health is a serious problem that's happening. Uh, men are three times more affected than women. Uh, the suicide rate in the UK has gone up and 75% of people that committed suicide were actually men and not women. So question number one, why is it affecting men more than women? Well, there's been a, a big attack on men and manhood and, and what a man is over the last few years. Um, you know, with all this woke philosophy that's out there, you can't say this, you can't say that. Um, I mean, this is, is, is causing men to have a bit of an identity crisis because the question is ultimately, well, what is a man? Define a man. And now we've got women wanting to be men, men wanting to be women. There's all this, you know, gender confusion in that. Um, and this is affecting uh, certain men's health. Of course, then we had the lockdowns. That didn't help. Uh, the other problem is that men, as men, we tend not to talk about our problems, while women tend to talk about their problems. And just the fact that you're talking about your problems, you're kind of getting them off, off your back. Uh, well, if you're keeping stuff inside, um, that's not good. And that can sort of build up to problems like heart attack, diabetes, whatever. And then when men tend to have these mental problems, they tend to deal with them aggressively, um, turning to drugs, turning maybe to alcohol um, and that kind of thing. So this is a bit of a, a problem. But, the, you know, the other element that's playing into this is diet and eating a lot of sugar. Uh, or sugary stuff, bearing in mind that, you know, you eat a plate of pasta, what you don't realize is that once that pasta enters inside your body, it's turned into sugar. Um, so, you know, drinking alcohol as well, that's sugary. Um, and so the sugar affects the mind. And if you're not eating the right foods to energize you, I mean, let's, let's think about it. I mean, why do we eat? We eat to stay alive, but we also, uh, our food is our fuel. So, like a car, you need to fuel it. Like your cell phone, you need to charge the battery. Well, it's the same with our bodies. We need to charge our bodies. But if we don't charge our bodies with the right fuel, then our bodies are not going to perform. And, and consequently, that's going to affect our minds as well. So this is an important element here is food. So what foods can we eat in order to prevent us from getting depressed or having a mental health issue? Well, uh, meat is a big player. So eating a lot of meat doesn't help. Um, what you have to realize is that these animals are slaughtered. The negative vibrations and the fear that these animals are feeling before they get slaughtered, this is then absorbed into the meat and then absorbed into whoever eats it. Uh, bear in mind that a lot of pharmaceuticals today are pumped into the animals to get them to grow quicker and bigger. And so you're also consuming a lot of that in, in milk. Uh, they do that for cows, for dairy, and also meat. So I'm not saying become a vegan. I mean, if you want to become a vegan, I mean, I, I've been on a plant-based diet for over 25 years. Um, that is a good idea. But, you know, if you're not going to go down that route, you need to at least reduce the consumption of dairy and meat. And that will help help with, um, with, with coping with this thing. But then we also have to make sure we cleanse the body. So drink plenty of fluids, in particular water. Water is really, really good for you. And the other thing is, you know, um, exercise, move that body. Um, don't say stagnant. You've got to move your body. Um, buy yourself a trampoline. Trampoline, I say 10 minutes on a trampoline is, is better than an hour running of running. So that's something maybe you can do. Uh, keep a trampoline in the house and every couple of hours go and have a jump for a few minutes or do your workout on your trampoline. Um, that's certainly, I've, I've been using a trampoline for a while now and it's a great, great a way to exercise it gets your lymphatic system going which you know gets toxins out your body and that's really really good another thing you can do do is uh, consume omega fatty acids that's good and uh, salmon is very good for that so eat plenty of salmon if you are going down the plant-based diet uh, you can eat flax seeds there's plenty of uh, 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 omega uh, fatty acids in there as well uh, the next thing you can do is nuts and seeds uh, in particular uh, cashew nuts uh, they're good for you for, you know, vitamin B, uh, vitamin B essential fats, um, helps you produce serotonin in the body. Those are all things that, that help. Black beans, uh, that produces folic acid. These are all substances that help to uh, avoid falling into the depression trap or the mental health problem. Yams, they're 
full of antioxidants and magnesium um, and it's also because yams grow in the ground it gives you a grounding effect as well which is really really good uh, spinach or green vegetables lots of uh, and that's obviously got oxygen in it and it pumps oxygen around your body so that that's really really good bananas plenty of magnesium and potassium in bananas that's very good for you as well and last but not least and you're gonna love this one chocolate in particular dark chocolate if you can get raw cacao dark chocolate or, 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 or cacao beans um, they're they're very good uh, for um, for mental health as well and I just add avocados in there as well for the potassium but chocolate is a really really good one so interestingly enough as men we should be consuming more chocolate than women because the chocolate is going to help us with a number of things so if you you know reduce the consumption of meat and dairy and also don't eat that too much pasta try and avoid the alcohol or just maybe have a pint a week or something like that I don't drink any alcohol um, and uh, maybe the way I eat helps me and why I've never uh, fallen into the depression trap or the mental health thing um, but you know certainly diet does play a factor in there and also the lack of exercise so that's also important and I add another thing which helps me personally is having some form of connection with God depending on how you do it whether you're Buddhist you're Muslim you're, you're, you're Christian or whatever religion you are but having a connection with a higher power meditation yoga that kind of thing also helps uh, to give you more uh, more of an identity of who you are in that um, and please please if you're a guy and you're watching this don't buy into this woke philosophy um, you know society today need, need real men that stick up for themselves that don't have um, they're not afraid of expressing their opinion we saw just recently um, the controversial figure of Andrew Tate being censored here on social media um, I've watched some of his videos I don't agree with everything he says but you know he does have some valid points there is a crisis um, out there at the moment uh, men are uh, uh, kind of confused Hollywood doesn't do a good job in, in, in clearing that confusion it just makes it even worse so you know we really need to find out who we really are and our food and exercise will help with that if we can keep our body clean it keeps our mind clean if we exercise you know that gives us uh, you know, it acts on our physiology, as, as Tony Robbins says. You know, our physiology does affect our minds as well. So you need to move that body first thing in the morning, drink plenty of water, um, and, you know, eat the right things to sort of fuel your mind um, and don't introduce toxins into your body. Um, that's really it. So, you know, comment below. Let's get the conversation going here on Quantum Action. This channel is all dedicated to your personal development, helping you grow. Uh, we will be having in the next few weeks some interesting guests on the show um, and be offering input on a number of different subjects. And remember, you know, the action uh, cube, you know, atmosphere around you, the cash, money, uh, information, uh, optimism, nutrition, uh, tuition. You know, these are the, the, the sides of the cube, you know, that keep us locked in, keep us controlled by this whatever you want to call it out there well you know our freedom is really really important and in order for us to be free we need to be free up here first of all so we have to look after our bodies and look after our minds so that we can really express uh, who we really are and that's all for me on this episode of quantum action remember check this other episode out i did about flight plans and that's all from fully supply on quantum action and i wish you all the best on going out there to infinity and beyond.